Hey, it's Matt DeWitt back with another video. We've got a good one for you today. Today is some footage I gathered from the hiker trailer camp out last September in 2020. Uh, I have met a couple, Dwayne and Teresa, fun loving couple, gained some good friendships while we were there. And they have a really awesome trailer. You know why? I'll let you in a little secret. It's very similar to mine. I absolutely love it. They took my trailer to another level and they added some of their unique features that I am actually jealous of. So without further ado, let's get into a full walk around of Dwayne and Teresa's hiker trailer. So <laughs> we're probably the newest hiker here. Yeah. It's five days old today. Oh, oh my goodness. So, so, you know, Matt or Wendy says, do you know yours very well? And I said, yeah, because I've watched Matt's videos for the past year. So. <laughs> and over and over. Same a lot Matt. of it's the same with Matt's. It's, it's the mid range. Um, although we have a different hitch, we have the it's a max couple max coupler. Yep. So it's nice. The first time you back up with it, it is stop in a parking lot. Yes, Practice. it, it, it oh, yeah. is. But after the first time, I mean, yesterday I pulled up here and I backed straight down in without a problem. So it's it's just that initial thing. It's not like a hay wagon where you're going this way. It's like literally you're pushing something and you're just going. Okay. It was like a hay wagon when you first backed it in. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's it not bad. like a hay wagon. So, um, inside we have two shelves on the front. We have the two foot deep galley in the back, but the top shelf is set back in. So we have all our clothes up there in little bags and everything, which makes it nice. Um, we do not have the Mylar mattress yet. We do have a X-PED combination memory foam and air mattress. So um, we've had that for over a year that we've been ca tent camping with and a basic two foot um, galley, propane tank, shelf. And we notice that your shelf is lower than ours. Much lower. Oh, really? Yeah, like, your yes. too high to me. So this this is too high for her, but it's mm -hmm. fine for it's, me. It's so doable, I'm, I'll probably get another strip and mount for a lower table sure. to be attached yeah. on. Yep. Um, same mounting as what Justin has. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know it was freestanding, so I did just do the ring gutters that you talked about because I, I know it will rain this yep. week at some point. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. And that's about it. Nice. Can I need anything? Um, because we knew we would we wouldn't have washing abilities. I fill three, he fill the fourth one because of sweatshirts. But they set up there really nicely. Mm -hmm. They're real handy just to, to remove, take in the house, and yeah, have you didn't or use. Or walk up to the shower house with them. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Grass yeah. yeah. <laughs> tub. I will say that we like the, the, the little um, felt boxes a lot for up front. Oh, you have it as a, you don't have the, the circles, the circles up here. Like no, oh, no, 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 AC. No. No. no, 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 they're not, they're not closed, front with they're circle. open. Yeah, yeah, we like the open. Oh yeah, we like the open show. And then, even in the back. I highly recommend these packing cubes. You get a lot of clothes in them. So guys, if you have the OVS Nomadic or the Darchi awning 270 Eclipse, there's a little mod you can do. There is a rubber cap that goes on here. It has a screw on the top and a screw on the bottom, a small washer. Once you remove that, there is a little flap of material that normally triangles down here and no one could ever figure out what it does. I believe what it's used for if you're mounting it on a vehicle, it, that's what would attach to your hood and kind of drap across the uh, hood area. So all Dwayne did here on his trailer is take that cap off and you can see this channel right here and he can slide that material, that small triangle material out and guess what? It makes a great cover for your back galley. You can see right there all he need to do is put a little bit of a slice here, slide the material back in all the way across, and now this piece of fabric acts as a rain break for all the people looking for rain break at the back of their galley. He just used what he already had. 
which is pretty slick. It's a nice modification. So in the back here, you have a very, very small gap now. And then as it goes across the other side, there's hardly anything at all. It's going to break that rain no problem and have it uh, push away from the other side. So as the recording of this video, there are a lot of great choices for awnings. They no longer sell the Darchi that I have on mine, but they sell the 230, the Batwing, and the OVS. My choice in the first part of 2021, if I were to get a new trailer, I would go with the OVS. The OVS is the closest thing to the Darchi. It's robust, tough, it's an absolute clone in every way. So that would be my choice. I think Dwayne had some put some good thought into this modification. Then he, what he did on the end here is he just tied a piece of rope and then he ran that to the front of the HT. This uses as a, uh, a drying station. But pretty cool. Goes all the way across. And you can see his bar here in the back just kind of holds it up and then it rests against there and sheds water away. something I'll be doing to mine. So if you get the exterior lighting package you know they don't mess around they put a good close to a thousand lumen light on the side of these trailers and it's great for backing in dark areas that kind of thing. Another mod that Dwayne came up with was just taking a simple red reflector and a little bit of velcro and he can slap that on and it creates a nice red glow doesn't attract bugs knocks down the light at nighttime and you don't want it so glaring bright and he can then quickly pop that off if he needs to if he's doing a backup situation in the dark so what do you guys think of Dwayne and Teresa's trailer I think it's pretty nice. I love the setup. I love the open shelves in the back. Um, why don't you put down in the comments what you thought is your favorite feature of this trailer? Love to get a discussion going. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Hey, we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.